Bitcoin will reverse because of these three factors next on your four minute crypto show. Today's show is from a post by Martin Young at Newsbeat TCM, brought to you by Bitblock Boom. Take a look at this great Bitcoin conference I'm bringing to Dallas, Texas at bitblockboom.com, of course. I hope I get to meet you in Dallas for Bitblock Boom's third and best year yet. Now, nobody needs reminding that Bitcoin has plunged to a seven month low. It's happened before, and a recovery has followed, as it will again. This time last year, Bitcoin had dumped to $3,700, and markets were in depths of a crypto winter. Now, here we are a year later at over $7,000. There may be more pain before any gains, but a recovery will happen in 2020, and industry insiders are confident. Here are three bullish factors that will cause a Bitcoin trend reversal next year. Number one, plus tokens liquidated. It's been largely accepted that one of crypto industry's largest Ponzi schemes has had some effect on markets this year. Crypto research firm Chainalysis recently reported that the Chinese digital wallet scam may have accumulated over $3 billion worth of crypto. It has traced the movements of around $2 billion as the people involved laundered their loot over the counter and through mixers. These large crypto dumps have coincided with major market movements this year, and those sell-offs seem to be abating. This would be a positive effect on Bitcoin prices, which may begin to recover once a bottom has been established. Number two, less than 250 days until the Bitcoin halvening. The halvening event should not be underestimated. As previously pointed out by industry analyst Plan B, markets have made major moves after previous halvenings, and this may be the case again. There should be some run-up in momentum leading up to the event. The bullish economic factors introduced by the event include a decrease in inflation, decrease in supply, and a doubling of stock-to-flow ratio. Investors and industry observers are largely in agreement that this will be positive for Bitcoin. Number three, institutional on-ramps. While products like Bax Cash Settled Bitcoin Futures do absolutely nothing for Bitcoin, they do provide wider exposure to it. This year has seen a number of new institutional products released, and that trend is likely to continue into next year. Instructional investors are generally more risk-adverse and prefer safer places to put their wealth. More products such as custodial staking or lending on DeFi markets are likely to emerge for institutions in 2020 as crypto becomes more mainstream. Bitcoin is cooling off as the year comes to a close, but considering it's still up almost 80% from the same day in 2018, things aren't really that bad. So what do you think of these three factors? Please leave your thoughts in the comments. And remember to subscribe at 4minutecrypto.com slash subscribe for a new episode of this show every day of the week or every weekday. Take a look at bitblockboom.com for more information on the great Bitcoin conference I'm bringing to Dallas, Texas. I'm Gary Leland, the crypto podcaster, and thanks for joining me on another 4-Minute Crypto Show. This has been a CryptoPodcaster.com production.